Hi and welcome back to The Cottage. Today I'm going to be sharing my top tips on how to simplify and organize a small bathroom. If you've watched my recent home tour video, you'll know that we have four bathrooms here at The Cottage. And that might seem like quite a lot considering this isn't a very large home and space is at a premium. However, each of these bathrooms is quite small in size. They range from 20 square feet in the powder room all the way up to 40 square feet for the four piece full bath, which includes a full size bathtub. This was done intentionally to have more bathrooms that were smaller in size when we were working through the design decisions. Now, of course, we feel very fortunate to have these four bathrooms. It makes life a lot easier as a family of seven to not have to wait in line for use of the bathroom. It makes us getting out the door a lot faster and easier, less stressful in the mornings. However, small bathroom spaces come with their own set of challenges and that is what I want to talk to you about today. So if you have a small bathroom that you're struggling to keep tidy and organized, I think that the five tips I'm going to share with you today will be very helpful. My first tip is to reduce the inventory. You'll hear me talk about this time and time again because it is so simple yet so profound. If you're struggling to keep things organized and tidy, the most likely culprit is that you're trying to put too much into one space. And bathrooms are notorious for collecting extra items that could be put somewhere else. We've got medications, we've got extra towels or linens, toilet paper, and cleaning supplies, all of these things kind of make their way because we think the bathroom is probably the most logical place that we can put them. I've heard people use the argument that their small bathroom seems cluttered and untidy because they have a lack of storage space. And in my personal opinion, the more storage space that a person has, the more that they're going to fill it and overfill it. And so it's kind of a fine line to find the perfect amount of storage just for the things that you are going to be using. And so if you have a bathroom that doesn't have a lot of storage, instead of going out and buying like a, a side storage um, cabinet that you can put in the bathroom to put more stuff, really take some time and think about how you could use the space that you do have. Something that you could try is to clear out your entire bathroom of all the products and linens and everything you have in there and then slowly bring back only the things that you find yourself looking for and needing on a daily basis. And this is really going to show you what it is that you are using regularly. Now you might be wondering, what am I supposed to do with all of the extra stuff that I took out? And I think that if you look around your home, you can find some creative places to store these things. One example that I can share from our own home is that all of our medications, band-aids, personal care type products, they're all kept in a central location in our laundry room. And this means that everyone has access to these items at any given time. Tip number two is to use counters as working spaces only. And I have talked about this before in the kitchen where we try to keep our counters as clear as possible so that they're always ready to do work. And the same is true in the bathroom. If it is cluttered, filled with things, you're not gonna be able to use it properly when the time comes. I'm of the mindset that very few things actually need to be left out on a bathroom countertop surface other than a bar or bottle of soap and maybe a hand towel. Remember that clutter invites more clutter and so if you get into the habit of leaving out a hair care tool such as a curling iron for example because it's too much of a hassle to put it away every day so you just leave that out, pretty soon your hairbrush is going to join it as will your dry shampoo, your contact solution, your contact case, and a whole host of other things. Pretty soon that working countertop surface that you have is just another storage spot and you are not going to be able to use it properly. Tip number three is a quick one and that is to not overdo it on the number of towels kept in the space. If there's one common way that I have seen small bathrooms become overcrowded, it's with extra towels and linens that don't need to be kept in the room itself. My philosophy is to only keep the number of towels in a bathroom that correlates with the number of people who are going to be using the showering facilities. So if you have a bathroom where one or two people shower on a regular basis, there shouldn't be a need to keep more than one or two towels in the bathroom itself. A quick way to keep those towels in check is to install hooks that correlate with the towels. Everyone has their own hook 
and so if their towel gets dirty, they just replace it with a new one, and the number of towels just stays the same at all times in that bathroom. It sounds kind of silly, but for a small bathroom space, it is a game changer. Tip number four is to micro contain whenever possible. I have found that drawer storage in a bathroom is prime compared to cabinet doors that have shelves. And that's because bathrooms tend to have a lot of smaller type of items and it's just easier to corral them all and get them more categorized with drawers than it is with cabinet doors and shelves. So if you do not have a bathroom that has this drawer space, I would highly recommend getting some baskets that can serve that purpose, getting some bins that can serve this purpose, and to really break down these categories as much as you possibly can. Some easy micro-containment examples would be to use a cutlery divider to keep your toothbrushes and toothpaste kind of separated within a drawer space, or to use baskets and bins to contain different people's products inside a shared bathroom space. We have a small drawer organizer within a drawer that keeps all of our little daughters hair bands and clips all organized and in place and it really is very very helpful in keeping things tidy and organized. And my final small bathroom organization tip is to keep a hamper in the space whenever possible. Any clothing or towels that are left on the floor or strewn about the room is going to add up to a lot of visual clutter and small spaces are not immune to this. And so I'm talking about rooms where you take showers or baths, not really powder rooms, but any room that you're going to be bathing or showering in, having that hamper readily available so that people can easily put their clothing, their dirty towels, in there, it's going to be very, very helpful. So you need to get a little creative for small bathrooms because there's not a lot of floor space available for a large hamper, but there are different ways that you can add a hamper in your room very discreetly. We have a hamper inside of our cabinet drawers of our upstairs bathroom. It's hidden in there. It's easily accessible when I need to grab it to do laundry. For our master bathroom, we actually have a basket that we're using as a hamper right underneath the sink as well. I've also heard of people having success with over the door cloth laundry bags and even lining a drawer of the vanity with something to use as a hamper. So you can get really creative with this. Just try to find a small hamper space in the bathroom. If there's absolutely no room, then you're going to have to work really hard at it. The very minimal maintaining a habit of not keeping things left on the floor because that's gonna ultimately make things cluttered really, really quickly. If you are looking for ways to make your small bathroom feel larger, I have a couple bonus tips for you. One is to install a large mirror, oversized mirror really, and that's going to just bounce around all of the light that comes into the room, either from a window or from a light fixture, and light always makes things seem a lot bigger and a lot fresher and more open. Another thing to try is to keep the color palette very simple, preferably even one color on the lighter end of the spectrum because dark colors are going to make a space feel more closed in. So keep that neutral, light color palette to really open things up. And finally, if you want to accessorize your small bathroom with decor, try to limit yourself to one or two pieces maximum. A pretty tray to put your soap dispenser on or a vase with a flower is probably all that is needed to dress up a small room. Well, those are all the tips that I have for you today, but before I close out this video, I want to mention that there is an entire Mega Motivation playlist dedicated to decluttering and organizing bathroom spaces that you might want to check out. I will have that playlist linked down below in the description box, and I'm sure that the other content creators who worked in collaboration on this playlist will be very happy to have you check out what they have to say, and I'm sure it will be informative to you as well. Thank you so much for watching my video today and I hope that you'll stop by the cottage again really soon.